Hi everyone, welcome back. So this week I want to talk to you guys about leg movement and footwork in the follow through. I think this is also very important because if you are not able to maneuver your legs properly in the follow through, it can make it harder for you to apply more tilt or more rotation in your follow through. So I'm going to go over what the problem is, how to solve it, and a perfect drill for you guys to train yourself out of it. And like always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to see more golf related content. So the problem that I'm seeing with a lot of players when it comes to their leg movement and their footwork is when they're about to strike the golf ball, I can see that their trail knee or their trail leg almost thrusts towards the golf ball quite early in their downswing um, and into the fall through. So after they strike the golf ball, they kind of look like, like this right here. So you can see that the heel is really off the ground. Um, there's a lot of space between the knees. Um, so I'm, I'm here to tell you that when you make that movement, it can, it can encourage a lot of things to happen and actually restrict your movement. So this movement can actually be early evidence or the cause of early extension. So if you think about it, from the top of the backswing, if you thrust this trail knee and the trail foot into the golf ball or towards this golf ball this way, that'll actually encourage the hip to tuck more underneath you. And if your hip tucks more underneath you, then your upper body will tend to pull back and your posture will straighten out. So you'll tend to develop this kind of pattern right here, which is early extension. And what this movement can also discourage is it can, it can make it more difficult for you to tilt correctly and rotate. So you can notice that after I strike this golf ball, when my trail knee kind of thrusts towards that golf ball, what essentially happens is that, is that keeps the right side of my hip much higher relative to my left. So when I follow through with that kind of a, a movement, you can see that my hips appear more level to the ground. And if my hips are more level to the ground, then it makes my upper body more difficult to tilt into the trail side. It'll also make it more difficult for your body to rotate um, correctly through impact. And if your body cannot tilt the trail side correctly, then the only way that you can get through impact is if you try to raise your trail shoulder really high and then get the body to turn um, kind of near the end or kind of well past impact. What I also hear from a lot of players, if you look at this from the face on view, is they feel kind of restricted or they feel like their, their arms are really cramped through the, through the impact zone just because when you thrust this hip or this, this trail knee forward, you're actually decreasing the amount of space you have um, for your hands to move. So that's why you kind of feel jammed up or these players feel jammed up um, near impact or just post impact. So if you do feel like you are this kind of player, then the solution would be to actually learn to extend out your knees through impact and to keep the heel on the ground of your trail foot longer through impact as well. So it should look something like this. Okay, you can see that my legs are fully extended. My heel doesn't come off the ground quite significantly um, in the downswing or post impact. It kind of stays on the ground longer. My legs are straightening out. And then from the, from the face on view, you can see that instead of my, my trail heel kind of coming straight off the ground and my trail foot kind of thrusting right towards the golf ball, as I'm straightening up my knees, my trail foot actually banks a little bit more to the side as opposed to straight up off the ground. So you can see that when you look at my trail foot, you don't want it to lift straight up off the ground. You typically want to see that it, it kind of banks to the side more. And when I say to the side, I don't mean that you want your whole foot like bang to the side. You'd want to feel it more so kind of on the inside of your big toe, okay, kind of to the side this way, okay? So when you're able to straighten out your knees, and get your, your legs to maneuver correctly through impact, what you'll notice is that that will allow my hips to actually be more tilted to the right side. So you can see that my hips are on a little bit more of an angle or tilted more to the, to the right. And if my hips are tilted more right, then that'll actually make it easier for my shoulders to, to be tilted as well. So the perfect drill to counteract this movement is to actually hit balls with staggered feet. So when you're on the range the next time, 
you can place your trail foot a few inches behind your lead foot. And when you place your trail foot further behind your lead foot, that'll discourage your trail knee from thrusting forward. And it'll be easier for you to straighten out your, your trail knee. So you can start by hitting some balls really slowly, but when you go to hit the ball, you need to be very conscious of straightening out this trail knee and straightening out both knees. And you need to feel the sensation of your, your trail foot banking more to the side. So you should feel as though there's more pressure kind of on the inside of that lead toe. So remember, you don't have to keep your entire foot banked to the side, but you just need to feel more so kind of on the inside of that lead toe. Okay. So now, again, with that trail foot behind, you can hit a few shots, straighten out that trail knee. Okay. You should feel as though your, your hips are digging more into the lead side of your, um, your uh, heel of the lead foot. Okay. And that'll actually mean that your hip is tilting more to the right. And if you, if you can do that, it'll feel easier for your right shoulder to kind of be positioned uh, lower than your left. So after hitting a few balls with staggered feet, you can return your feet to a normal position. And when you go to hit this next shot, you still want to be conscious of feeling the same things that you're feeling during the drill. So that would mean that you have to focus on extending both knees and getting that trail foot to bank more to the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. So if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Jonathan K. Moss if you want to inquire about my online lessons. I will also leave a link to my website in the description box below as well. And if you have some extra time, I would encourage you guys to watch this video next. And it's a video I've done in the past, but it just goes over a bit more specific details about your footwork throughout the backswing and the follow through.